Hello to you, I'm Larry Livingston, and here's a look at the stories making news on this Sunday. Finals fever, it's sweeping South Florida with both the Heat and the Florida Panthers now hoping to bounce back from losses. The Miami Heat, they're getting ready to take on the Denver Nuggets for Game 2 of the NBA Finals. Miami lost Game 1 to Denver Thursday with a final score of 104-93. to Miami shot just two free throws in Game 1, an NBA playoff record low, but the team is upholding a high level of confidence, certain that they will flip the odds in their favor tonight. In the meantime, the Florida Panthers, well, they're hoping to rebound from game one against the Golden Knights in the Stanley Cup final. Cats fans are out in full force in Las Vegas, still feeling confident even after a heartbreaking 5-2 loss. Panther star Matthew Kachuk kicked out of the game after throwing punches at a member of the rival team. Some Panther players say the game serves as a lesson as they look forward to game two on Monday. He's doing okay. He can't walk for a little while. Uh, that's very, you know, it's so hard to see him have to go through this. As a very active one-year-old who just began walking, he should be experiencing his first moments. The mother of a one-year-old boy speaking out after her child was injured in a shooting on Hollywood's Broadwalk. He is one of nine victims who survived gunshot wounds while celebrating Memorial Day at the beach. Police say the shooting was the result of two groups arguing. Authorities arrested Jordan Burton Saturday, the third person connected to that shooting. Police are still working to find two more suspects. And Governor Ron DeSantis was one of the Republican candidates who went to Iowa to campaign there for the 2024 presidential race. The candidates met with voters in the battleground state during Senator Joni Ernst's annual roast and ride gathering. DeSantis took to the stage touting his accomplishments here in the state of Florida. Other GOP candidates also spoke, but the current frontrunner, former President Donald Trump, did not attend the event. And that's all for now. Remember, you can always stay up to the minute on breaking news headlines any time of day on our web channel, local10.com. Y'all take care. Have a good rest of your week. Go Heat. Go Panthers.